WA has a new opposition leader tonight. At just 33, Zach Kirkup becomes the youngest person to lead the Liberals in the state. The Dorsal MP says he heads a united team, but deep divisions were laid bare in the contest for the top job. Bombs were tossed like confetti as MPs entered Parliament to elect the new Liberal leader a new start. I have to say I'm very despondent about the state that we're in now. The Garan Collier faction runs the Liberal Party. There's no doubt about that. Some of us are not that happy about that. No new policies, uh, uh, limited money. And when Zach Kirkup emerged as the new king about an hour later with his new deputy Libby Metham, he was already papering over the cracks. We are a united team and that's exactly uh, why we're here today, standing united uh, with a united vision. The 33-year-old Dawesville MP who stared down rival Dean Nolder has only 109 days to convince the public about that unity before they vote. He'll need every minute. Well, <laughs> You're a big fan of Dean Nolder. No. Yes, and, and, and my good friend Zach Kirkup too. The more seasoned contender, Dean Nolder, withdrew at the 11th hour to make way for Mr Kirkup, who had the numbers. That left some MPs feeling robbed. This is an outcome of uh, power brokers rather than uh, grassroots, uh, the strength of the grassroots party. Upper House MP Peter Collier is the power broker he's referring to. Uh, guys, can... Can I just say to you, I'm not going anywhere. Mike's in, you know, entitled to his views. I would not be here if I didn't think I could value add to the Liberal Party. And what about deposed Deputy Liberal Leader Bill Marmion and his plum seat of Nedlands? Yeah, Bill Marmion should vacate the seat of Nedlands in the next seat, next um, election. You need to have a bit of experience in the team. I mean, they brought um, Bob Simpson back, didn't they, for the, the cricket, which was surprised me. With the team at least standing behind him, the leader announced his first policy. No more disastrous disagreeing with the McGowan government on the COVID-19 border policy. We 100% support, without hesitation, without equivocation, the advice given to us by the Chief Health Officer in order to keep Western Australians safe. As a confident schoolboy, he handed a business card to John Howard, which read, Zach Kirkup, future Prime Minister. But there's doubt on his own side. He can become Premier in March. We're desperate. Uh, we're trying to stay alive. It's living the dream. So Lisa Harvey's reign is over and Zach Kirkup's begins. The task now is to save some of the Liberal Party furniture at the election because some insiders are telling me they still fear a wipeout that would leave them with between six and nine seats in Parliament's lower house. Michael, the pressure is on the young leader. He's only been in Parliament for three years. Jumping in at the deep end. Mm. Gary, thank you.